and food web. Primary producers are organisms that make their own food from sunlight and chemical energy from deep sea vents. Primary producers sit at the first level of the food web. Next, we have the primary consumers. Primary consumers are animals that eat primary producers. They are also called herbivores or plant eaters. Primary consumers eat primary producers. The energy flows up the food web. Then we have the secondary consumers. Secondary consumers, on the other hand, are carnivores and they prey on other animals. Examples include rats, kangaroos, herons, frogs and small fish. What other examples can you think of? The dragonfly is eaten by the rat and the kangaroo, while the bug is eaten by the kangaroo and the water bird. The energy flows up the food web, but not all to the same animals. Finally, we have the tertiary consumers. Tertiary consumers are carnivore-eating carnivores, like eagles, snakes, or big fish. Some food chains have additional levels, such as quaternary consumers, that is, carnivores that eat tertiary consumers. Organisms at the very top of a food chain are called apex consumers. The rat is eaten by the snake and the bird of prey, while the kangaroo is eaten by the snake. Here we see ter a tertiary consumer, the snake, eaten by another consumer, the bird of pr prey. Can you think of the animal that is at the apex consumer level?